The Bordentown baseball team managed just two hits off three Washington Township pitchers on Saturday, but it was enough to put a scare in the Minutemen. Chris Wade's double in the fourth inning chased Sean O'Leary around the bases and put the Scotties ahead 1-0, but Wade was caught stealing a moment later, and Bordentown didn't manage another base runner in three and two-thirds innings against relief pitcher Eric Cardafalsa. It wasn't really what I was expecting. I was expecting more of a, you know, more, more of a hit fest kind of on our side, not theirs. Uh, but no, we'll take 2-1, kept them, kept them where they were, kept them in check, and got the job done. Cardiff also retired the last 10 Scotties in order and struck out six, and the Minutemen got him the lead in the fifth inning. Lorenzo Morello singled home the tying run, then Anthony Buffon came to the plate with two outs. Uh, I was just trying to hit a fastball up, and I got it, so I was lucky, and I found the spot. At first, I didn't think, it, I thought they were gonna catch it, but got lucky and it dropped. Buffon's hit spoiled an impressive debut by Bordentown sophomore pitcher Nick Nemes, who allowed just four hits and struck out three in a six-inning stint. That was Nick's actual first varsity start this year, uh, actually first varsity start ever. Um, he can throw the ball well, and we just wanted to give him an opportunity today, and man, did he battle. The same could be said for all the Scotties, who went down fighting 2-1. to one. Washington Township will face Holy Spirit in the Diamond Classic quarterfinal game next weekend. The same thing we talked about yesterday before the game was that we just want to come out and, and represent our school and represent Burlington County in the best way we could and play a clean game. And if win, lose, whatever, if that's what we did, um, we would be happy. From Washington Township High School, this is John Lewis.